Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Classic CC lets you use the grid view to display specific photos in a variety of ways. You can click within the catalog panel to instantly adjust the display of photos in the grid view. If you click the All Photographs choice, the grid view displays the entire catalog of photos. If you select the All Synced Photographs choice, the grid view displays photos within the collection that are synced with other Adobe Photoshop Lightroom CC mobile clients. If you select Quick Collection, Lightroom Classic CC displays photos from the Quick Collection. We'll learn more about working with a Quick Collection in a future lesson. If you choose Previous Import, the grid view then shows photos from the most recent import operation. Depending on how you use Lightroom Classic CC, other options like Previous Export as Catalog may also appear within the Catalog panel. You can use the options that appear in the Library Filter bar at the top of the image area to filter the displayed photos. When you filter a selection, you remove everything that doesn't match certain criteria from the selection. So for example, if you click the Metadata button in the Library Filter bar, you'll see options for filtering photos by date, by camera, by lens, and by label. If you click the Attribute option, you'll see ways to filter photos by rating, color label, and other criteria. If you click the Text option, you can filter photos by matching text you type against selected searchable fields. The more you organize and manage your catalog in Lightroom Classic CC, the more you will be able to use filtering tools to display specific folders, collections, keywords, ratings, and so forth. We'll learn more about filtering photos later on in this chapter. To navigate between photos in the library module, simply click a photo to select it. To select the previous photo, press the left arrow key on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can select Library, Previous Selected Photo from the menu bar. To choose the next photo, press the right arrow key on your keyboard or select Library, Next Selected Photo from the menu bar. Depending on how the grid view is displayed, Select Previous Photo and Select Next Photo arrow buttons may also appear in the toolbar. If you don't see arrow buttons in the toolbar, you can display them by checking the Navigate option in the toolbar menu. There are several ways to sort photos within the grid view. When you sort photos in Lightroom Classic CC, you rearrange the photos based on certain criteria. Unlike filtering, sorting does not remove photos from the display, it merely reorders the photos. The Library Modules Toolbar provides two sorting tools. If you do not see the tools in the toolbar, check the Sorting option within the Toolbar menu. The Sort pop-up menu in the toolbar lets you sort photos based on all the following criteria. Capture Time, Added Order, Edit Time, Edit Count, Rating, Pick, Label Text, Label Color, file name, file extension, file type, and aspect ratio. When you check one of the options within the Sort pop-up menu, you'll see the grid view rearrange itself based on your selection. No photos are removed from the grid view when you make a sort selection. Just to the left of the Sort pop-up menu within the toolbar, you'll also see the Sort Direction button. You can click this button to reverse the sort order that is currently applied to the grid view. If you are working with a regular collection or with the lowest folder in a folder hierarchy, then you can also click and drag from the center of a thumbnail image to manually sort the grid view. However, if you are working with a folder that contains other folders or if you are working with a smart collection, you cannot click and drag to sort thumbnail images. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.